Hi and welcome back to my YouTube video. Um, I'm just doing a video as promised on a backpack system for the CBR 1000RR 13 plate. Uh, the reason I'm doing this today is because I've looked on YouTube and I've not really seen anyone talk about the best system for a super sports bike whilst traveling over in Spain and Pyrenees and over to Stelvio Pass. So I've used for the last four years on my last four or five bikes uh, the Ventura system and I'm just going to show you uh, the Ventura system now. First thing I would like to show you the rack itself. It's made from a tubular steel. Uh, you can just see it there and it's got two fittings, one and two here. Now this is designed for the 08 plate to the, to the 12 plate but in actual fact the bars are exactly the same for the uh, 13. I'm not quite sure the Mar Marquez uh, body shape, but uh, definitely for this one, which is the 13 plate, um, this is the Ventura. I got this off eBay, um, and before anyone actually writes in anything, I do understand that uh, there is a new system out there at the moment, the Evo Pack system. But I'm going to show you the uh, the cheaper way of doing it on the Ventura system, which I've got off eBay, and I got these bars for 50 quid. So I think if you go on the Ventura site, they're about 120 quid. So they fit with two, like I said, two bolts um, on the one side. And I'm just going to take off the top here, and hopefully you can see this. So you have two fixation bolts, one here and one here, and same on the other side, one here and one underneath here. Um, the only thing I will say is, when you're tightening these up, don't go mad. Uh, just tighten them up, um, but don't over tighten them because as soon as you over tighten them, you're going to make it uh, strip the thread. So just be careful on that. So you get four bolts with the system and two bars. And like I said, they're made from tubeless steel. And they, like I said, I got this off eBay for um, 50 quid. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm just going to put the seat back on the bike. So it just fits in like so and I'm going to show you the pack system one two and it fits on like so nice and easy I just put a little bit of grease on the inside there just to make it slide in a lot easier and then you have two fixation bolts one two and what you also get from Ventura is a little key, which what you use is to just to tighten them up a little bit tighter. Again, don't over tighten these because you've got the male and the female. And there's a little little ridge inside and if you over tighten them, you're just going to pull a hole straight through the bar and you'll probably strip the thread. So just be careful on this as well. Just tighten them up, not over tighten them and they'll be perfect. So that's the, that's the rack system. Let's talk about the bag now. So this is uh, the old um, Aero 51 litre bag. Now it's made from a ballistic PU fabric. So for all intents and purposes, for people like myself, what the hell does that mean? Well, it actually means that the fabric of the bag is waterproof, but the actual seams of the bag, they're not taped. And so therefore the bag itself is, isn't waterproof. Um, and that's apparent, especially when you get caught in a downpour in Spain, you'll find that water will actually ingress into the bag and it sits on the inside of the bag. So let's talk about the bag as well, the features of the bag. I, again, I purchased this off eBay and I got this for 40 pounds. And like I said, I know there's newer systems out there, but if you're looking for a system, uh, which is cheap enough that you can take and it works, then have a look on eBay. So I bought this bag, I think for 45 quid. So the whole system I got for a hundred pounds, which is pretty good. Just when you're purchasing this, make sure that the fixations, plastic fixations actually work and they're not broken. And also just check that, that the zip is working as well. The zip is designed so you can actually put another bag on the back of this. But what I'm showing you today is actually uh, just for the 51 liter, which is ample. If you're going over to Spain for a week, you don't need any more than this. Um, and I'll show you why, uh, maybe in another video when I show you how to pack to go for a week. But anyway, so you've got enough compartments in the, in the bag itself. 
It's a top loader with a Velcro, which is really nice in the zip. Just make sure all the zips work when you're purchasing it on eBay. Um, and I'll show you how it fits now. So there's a sleeve on the back of it. And quite simply, it slides like so. That's nice and easy. So I'm doing this um, either on the back um, or you can have it sitting on the seat, which is how I use it because I always take a sleeping bag and a tent with me. So another feature of this as well is what I do, and I don't know whether you can get a bit closer here, is I clip these in, you tighten them up like so, and then just for added, add, added safety, I actually wrap this around and then pull it over the top of the bolts. Um, it's just something I've always done ever since I've had the system. Don't ask me why, you know, if these come a little bit loose or whatever, it'll still keep everything intact. And it being a 51 litre bag, you can get about 21 kilograms in here. Uh, so you don't want to go over that and that'll sit nicely on your back seat. Then you've got enough room here at the back that you can actually put your sleeping bag and um, or your tent. Preferably put your sleeping bag um, inside. Now I was talking about the bag itself saying that it's not waterproof. Now Ventura themselves supply, and you can buy it off eBay again or buy a brand new one, they're 20 quid, which is for all intents and purposes, it's a tent bag. Um, and it's designed to go over the top of the bag. As you can see on the inside there, there's a, a membrane, a waterproof membrane of the fabric, and the bag will fit over the top. Um, now the thing is with this, is that when you actually pull it over the top, it then has to sit underneath and it's not gonna cover the entire bag. Now, you know as well as I do, when riding a motorbike, the water comes up off the road and you get a, a tremendous amount of water coming up. Now, um, I found that even with the waterproof bag um, over the top of it, you still get a little bit of ingress of water. So my suggestion is, is to buy some dry bags from a camping shop. Um, they just, I'll show you one I've got currently. This one I picked up, um, it's a simple bag. You put your kit inside, you roll it up, nice and simple, and then you pop that inside the bag. Um, and that will do just as well. If you wanna go even cheaper, my suggestion would be just get a really good heavy duty bin liner bag and put your clothes in there um, and it do the job just as well so you can either spend 20 pounds on the cover and then you'll find that you still need to um, put a dry bag on the inside of the bag or you can get a couple of bin liners heavy duty bin liners put your kit in there and then uh, put them in in the compartments so this is the Ventura 51 litre backpass system by Ven uh, Ventura like I said uh, this is the racking system and like I said you've got enough capacity in this bag to go on a, a week to 10 days holiday around Spain, uh, Portugal, wherever you want to go. Um, my suggestion is buy this one. I don't tend to like the side panniers bags and the reason for that is you get the rubbing on the actual bodywork here or if you use the padding to stop that then you're losing the width of the bike as well it becomes a little bit wider and you can't filter as, as well. So this is the Ventura 51 litre backpack with the rack system. You can buy this off you know, on eBay for about a hundred pounds like I did, which was a bargain. Yes, there is the new Aero uh, bag, which is slightly different, which has got red lining. Um, and you can also buy the Evo um, system now, which actually works slightly differently, but they still will use the same actual pack bars on here. So this is a CBR 1000RR 2013 plate with the Ventura system. Thanks for watching. Bye.